Hello friends, so welcome to engineering tutorial. So here we are going to discuss about Mason's game formula for determination of the overall transfer function of a closed loop system. In the previous video, we discussed some of the basic concepts associated with the signal flow diagram, the signal flow graph, that is the nodes, forward paths, loops, forward path gain, loop gain, then concept of uh, non-touching and touching loops. So in this video, we are going to apply those concepts to understand the determination of the closed loop transfer function using Mason's gain formula. Okay. So, the Mason's gain formula, the transfer function of a closed loop system is given by the expression k equals summation of k equals to 1 to n p subscript k delta subscript k by delta these two are different delta subscript k and delta okay this p k delta k and delta they are the three individual components of the transfer function as per the Mason's gain formula. This is the Mason's gain formula for determination of the transfer function. Now let us understand what these three, these three parts of this uh, equation, what they mean. We know that a signal flow graph can have uh, multiple forward paths. We have already discussed about what a forward path is. So it is a collection of branches from the input to the output node without any node being repeated more than once. So PK is the gain of the kth forward path. Okay. Suppose there are two forward paths, let us say P1 and P2. So, PK will represent the forward path of path P1 and the forward path gain of the path P2. Okay. Two path gains. And what is the forward path gain? It is just the product of the branches, the gain products of the branches, the individual branches of the forward path, okay? The multiplication of the individual branch gains, okay? So, the next thing is delta k. It is called as path factor, okay? path factor. The path factor is actually given by 1 minus sum of the loop gains of the loops which the path has not touched. Okay, which the path has not touched. Okay, the path factor for a particular path, it is the it is represented as one minus sum of the loop gains of the loops which the path has not touched. Okay, so let us try to understand it. Okay, now. Let us just uh, erase it for the while because there is not enough space to accommodate all the things. Okay, we are trying to understand what is path factor. Okay, now focus on this uh, 
signal flow graph. It is the same one which we used in the previous video. So, here there is only one forward path. Now, I would please uh, uh, suggest you to please watch the previous videos related to signal flow graph so that you understand what I am just telling you right now in a better way. If you have understanding about the nodes, the basic concept associated with nodes, paths, loops, loop gain, forward path gain to touching and non-touching loops, then it's okay. Otherwise, I recommend you to please watch the previous videos related to signal flow graphs. Okay. <clears throat> so, in this signal flow graph, there is only one forward path, this R. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C. R 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C. From input to output. Okay. Collection of branches connecting the input node and the output node in one direction without any node being repeated more than once. So, this is the only forward path here. This is the nodal representation of the forward path. Then we have to write down the nodal representations of the loops. First loop is this 1, 2, 3, 1. What is a loop? It is just a closed path which starts and ends at the same node. Okay, A closed path consisting of branches which start at end and this same node. So, here 1, 2, 3 and 1. It is starting at 1, ending at 1. Just we have to write down the nodal representations. L2, 2, 3, 2. It is starting at 2, ending at 2. This loop, this loop. Next is this uh, L3 which is 4, 5, 4. L3, 4, 5, 4. It is starting and terminating at node 4. And the final loop is L4, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. Okay. Okay. Now, for determining this, uh, this path factor, we have to identify the loops which this forward path has not touched. We are determining the path factor for forward path P1 that is delta 1. So, for that similar the, the same way we did for touching and non-touching loops, we have to do the same thing. We have to compare the nodal representation of the forward path with each of the nodal representation of the loops and try to find out common nodes. If the path and the loop has at least one common node, it means the path is touching the loop. If the forward path and the loop have no common node in between them, it means the path is not touching the loop. The concept is similar to the concept of touching and non-touching loops. We just have to find out common nodes. Okay. So, if there is a common node between the forward path and the loop, then the path is touching the loop. If there is no common node, it means it is not touching the loop. Okay, This is the basic way to understand this okay now let us compare the nodal representation of the forward path p1 with each of the four loops r 1 2 3 4 5 c okay this is the nodal representation of p1 the nodal representation of l1 is 1 2 3 1 c 1 2 3 1 2 3 so there is three nodes that are common between p1 and l1 so obviously p1 is touching L1. Here it is R1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C. Here it is 2, 3, 2. So, 2, 3, 2, 3. So, 2, 3 is the two nodes common between P1 and L2. 
so obviously p1 is touching l2 then l3 is 4 5 4 here in uh, p1 there is r1 2 3 4 5 c so 4 and 5 4 and 5 two nodes that are common between p1 and l3 so obviously it is a the path is touching loop l3 next is r1 2 3 4 5 c here it is 2 3 4 5 2 so 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 four nodes that are common between p1 and l4 so it is touching l4 so p1 the forward path p1 is touching all the loops so the path factor for forward path p1 is 1 minus 0 what is this sum of the loop gains of the loops which the path has not touched but as p1 is touching all the loops so this this bracket is 0 so it is 1 the path factor for forward path p1 is 1 so this is how we determine path factor now let us write the mason skin formula again which we just uh, which we erased so mason's gain formula transfer function summation of k equals to 1 to n forward path gain of the kth path path factor of the kth path by delta now the last thing which is delta this delta is the determinant of the signal flow graph it is the determinant of the signal flow graph okay just write sfg determinant of the sfg or graph determinant you can say so what is this it is written as 1 minus sum of individual loop gains Okay, 1 minus sum of the individual loop gains plus sum of gain products of two non touching loops. Okay, sum of gain products of two non touching loops minus sum of gain products of three non touching loops again plus sum of gain products of four non touching loops and so and so and so it continues but normally in most of the questions we have to calculate until this sum of gain products of two non touching loops because rarely we will find a signal flow graph which has three non touching loops it never happens just forget about four non touching loops it is very difficult to find three non touching loops so it is very it's a rare case that you will find a three non-touching loop type question a signal flow graph so you can uh, just uh, proceed up to this you remember up to this sum of gain products of two non-touching loops in case you find three non-touching loops you just include it so this in this this equation it continues it just continues on and on and on it will be plus sum of gain products of four non-touching loops minus sum of gain products of five non-touching loops plus sum of gain products of six non-touching loops and it will continue okay but for normal uh, questions that come in exam we have to deal with only mostly 90 percent of the time two non-touching loops 10 percent of the time you can find three non-touching loops you can do that okay so we have discussed about touching and non-touching loops in the previous video the basic concepts related to signal flow graphs 
here they have discussed about loops loop gains touching loops non touching loops i have discussed in detail about that so this is the uh, general representation of the mason's gain formula to determine the transfer function of a system we have discussed the individual things the forward path gain the path factor for a particular forward path and the graph determinant so it is basically written in this way this transfer function is actually written in this way let us write it in a different way in order to avoid confusion the transfer function is actually p1 delta 1 p2 delta 2 plus pk delta k by delta p1 is the first forward path delta 1 is the path factor of that forward path p2 is the second forward path delta 2 is the path factor of the second forward path pk is the kth forward path means the forward path gain and delta k is the path factor of that forward path delta is the graph determinant which is this one minus sum of the individual loop gains plus sum of gain products of two non-touching loops minus sum of gain products of three non-touching loops and so on so on so on okay so here we have discussed about the mason's gain formula the different components of mason's gain formula and uh, i will be posting videos related to questions on uh, signal flow graph there we will solve questions and uh, find out the transfer function using mason's gain formula okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much